Hi everyone, Lewis here, and today I'm going to bring you guys some footage of a new-ish mod for Armor 3. Yeah, that's right, Armor 3, which is called Dead Nation. I'm pretty sure that's what the name is, and it was developed by some lovely French people. There's only one server for it right now, but it's actually, you know, the Daisy mod for Armor 3, but it's on Stratus, which is something I don't think any other mod does, and this kind of struck a chord with me in terms of Armor 3 and Daisy, you know, how they're going to work together. Since Daisy stand on got delayed recently to God knows how long, probably a few more months or so, we'll have no idea. I uh, thought I'd go check it out, and I just thought about, you know, how is Armor 3 and Daisy going to actually function in the future? I think a lot of people thought Armor 3 and Daisy just aren't going to be a thing ever, but it seems like lots of teams these days are actually working on making a mod for Armor 3, or already have a mod out for Armor 3 like these guys do, or there's a Zombies mod, which, you know, I've shown you guys before, which is Daisy, but on Armor 3, but in the Shinaris map, so it's a bit weird, but, I mean, they've done this mod pretty well now. One thing which is a bit of an issue on Dead Nation is people eat bullets like a sponge. You'll see this when I shoot a few people in these clips, but, you know, Armor 3 has got a lot of advantages and disadvantage, which could be used in the Daisy mod if it was done well for Armor 3, so I thought that was pretty cool. But one of the biggest things which I think people are forgetting about for Armor 3 and Daisy and how it's going to be in the future is that Armor 3 is going to eventually have a much better map than, of course, Stratus. People don't really like that idea, I don't think, of having the Daisy mod on Stratus, but there is a massive map coming out when the game is launched later this year, which is called Atlas. And if you've never seen this map before or never heard of it before for some odd reason, here is a comparison of Atlas with Stratus. You can see Atlas is a lot bigger, Stratus is more or less the Utes of Armor 3. And Atlas, you can see, has a shit ton of roads, a lot of cities, and I just think it could be really cool for Armor 3 and Daisy once it is eventually released. I'm guessing it's probably something developers are working on already right now. Since there's only two maps, as far as I know, which are going to be released with Armor 3, Stratus being, like I said, the Utes of Armor 3, Atlas is the thing that I'm putting most of the work into, and if you don't know as well, but this map is also bigger than a map you guys probably know called Shinaris. Here is another lovely comparison, and as you can see, Atlas is absolutely massive. There's a lot of great things about Armor 3, you know, it's got the weapon attachments, it's got a bit better FPS than normally in Armor 2, it's got the lovely light, and you'll see in these uh, little clips over here, the atmosphere it just feels right, it's got the lovely clouds in the sky, the dynamic clouds, or the volumetric clouds even, the lighting like I said, and it just adds up to a lovely experience compared to Armor 2 Daisy, which is a bit of a letdown in terms of graphics, with performance, and also to be honest, Shinaris, it might just be me, but I've played Shinaris for a long time, I'm a sucker for new maps, and Atlas could be really awesome if it is done well, and since Stanon is delayed, this is probably going to be the map most devs are seeking out to make a good mod for. You don't have ammo? Hello? Can you hear me? Hello? Can you hear me? Hello? Hello, can you hear me? I'm Hola. here. Hello. A ver, a ver. No. Oh? I don't Hola. have any I don't have any ammo too. Do you speak English? I don't have ammo. Do you speak English? Or n not good English? Uh I'm bilingue. <laughs> What? What? Sorry. No worry. You, oh. Uh, you can speak me English. Okay. We're getting shot. At. That's not back, good, back, buddy. Back. Yeah, I'm gonna go inside uh, this. I'm, I'm going to, to search ammo in the. Okay. I've got okay. no idea how the hell I didn't kill him. I follow you. Okay. Sorry about shooting you, but it was scary. I've now met such a nice person. I shoot him, and he still wants to be friends. But anyway, back on topic a bit about Armor Free DZ mods. Obviously, there's Dead Nation, which of course I'm playing right now, which is pretty good, but just the bullet spongy thing is a bit of an issue, as you've probably seen by now, you know, shooting an entire magazine of AK-74, and we just, we just don't fall down, I don't get it. And also, there's actually a pretty cool mod, which not many people know about, well, they do know about it, but not for Armor 3 at least, but the Breaking Point guys are actually working on an Armor 3 version as well, which is something I thought I'd share with you guys, since you probably don't know about it, um, I'll leave a trailer in the description below. Most of you are probably thinking, but Lewis, Breaking Point was, sh well, maybe not shit, it was good in its early days, but eventually it was just things which were better than it, um, and the devs had some questionable decisions, I guess you could say, but uh, yeah, I guess the devs have got a new chance to prove himself, and judging from the trailer, which does look pretty cool, it's going to be pretty awesome with about 50 people or so on a server, you know, it's a smaller map, Stratus isn't the biggest map ever, and if they do a loot well, and add some more builds around the map, it's going to be a pretty different experience to good old Armour 2 DayZ. 
And from what I hear, that's actually going to be open for testing, I believe, next week or something like that. So it's not too far away. And if they do that well, add a few more weapons in it. I know we've got a lot of custom stuff in it on top of, you know, the original Armor 3 mod. Not Armor 3 mod, but Armor 3 game. And it's completely standalone on Armor 3, just like this mod, which I'm playing right now, Dead Nation, is. So you don't need to have Armor 2 or anything like that. Just buy Armor 3. It was super cheap back in Alpha, but if you don't have it already, it's going to be a bit more expensive. And boom, you've got the DayZ mod. I don't think many people who purchased Armor 3, who didn't have Armor 2 for some reason, thought that would ever happen. But it's happened, because standalone is never coming out. Right now in the game as well, I'm on a whole one killing spree. I'm doing pretty good with my AK-74, just swapping out weapons since there seems to be like pretty much no ammo, or not at least a large bunch of ammo which you can come across. And all the action on Dead Nation seems to happen at the airfield. I had various spawns and nothing happens unless you're over there. And there's also a village actually near the airfield as well, which I probably should have checked out. But unfortunately, I did not. But uh, there seems to be a lot of people shooting each other with assault rifles over the airfield. But if it was a start goal, and then goal like it could be with Atlas, then I'm sure it could be a beautiful synergy between Armour 3 and Daisy. And I don't see a beautiful synergy for no reason. Like I mentioned before, Armour 3 has got a lot of cool features, which just makes it better as a game for something like Daisy or any mod for that matter, like weapon customization. Obviously, you can put a lot of sights on a lot of different weapons. In this case, on Dead Nation, they use mostly, or maybe entirely, no, not entirely. I remember actually seeing a few Armour 3 weapons, but a lot of Armour 2 weapons. So, obviously, you can't do anything with those ones. But if it was set up well, then you could have attachments on weapons in Armour 3 as well. You know, if that is something which the mod creators do manually. On top of that, you've got ragdolls for humans and also a zombie. So, running over zombies and humans, it feels even better than it did in Armour 2. Because, you know, an Armour 2 would just fly in the sky. It looks a bit weird, but in Armour 3, it kind of looks natural, but at the same time, not at all. You've also got the player clothing system, so you can go ahead and customise your character to, you know, whatever the hell you want. That's something, of course, we're going to have in standalone. I mean, we do have a lot of features from Armour 3 in standalone, so it's kind of like a, a mix between Armour 2, DayZ, and, of course, DayZ standalone. You've also got a new inventory system in Armour 3, so obviously backpacks store most of the stuff. You can see right here, I'm murdering someone with a backpack, not only because he shot me, but also because... Um, backpacks are a really big deal in Armour 3 just as a whole because they just store so much more stuff than the normal storage you have which is of course just in your pockets, well in your shirt really and on your vest piece instead of just having a normal inventory, well a bigger inventory I guess like it is in Armour 2 so that is just a much nicer system really for a game like DayZ as well. Turns out Dead Nation as well, when you killed someone, or you think you've killed someone, they're not actually dead. So I've gone ahead and double tapped this guy and he had a lovely AK. And like I said, the backpack, which is going to store a lot of shit compared to my normal vest, which is probably just going to store one magazine. On this case, a bandage and a chem light, which is of course pretty terrible. That was a beautiful voice crack as well. And of course when Arm 3 comes out, like I mentioned later this year, it's just going to be... A lot more weapons, a lot more vehicles, different factions, more skins to put on. It's just going to be a lot better than it is right now. I mean, the Dead Nation mod, it works pretty well. It does everything the original DayZ mod does, except it's on a terrible, terrible map. Well, maybe not terrible, or I think most people can agree that straight as is pretty shit, but uh, perhaps not the best map suiting for DayZ. When I found out my AK no longer had any ammo, I was surprised to come across another guy with an AK and somehow a pistol allowed me to survive in that situation. I guess the, the bullet sponging was on my side in that case. Who knows, in three months time we could still have no standalone and maybe a day zero mod for Armour 3. I think it's something a lot of people would like, just having the professionalism of day zero in an Armour 3 mod. It'd be the perfect fit to be honest. I just ended up going on a lovely wonder around the wasteland looking at some very bright lights. I don't know why, but bright lights just seem to guide me in the times when I've got no idea where the hell I am. In this case, it's a lighthouse and it didn't end up well because I just killed myself and got a respawn at the airfield instead because that seems like a much more logical idea. But anyway, thanks a lot for watching. Hopefully it was informational. I don't normally do these kind of commentary videos, or I've done a few before. But um, tell me you guys think. Uh, maybe I'll do some more in the future. But hopefully it gives you a decent idea of what I've got in store in the future for not only, you know, Armour 2 DayZ and standalone, but also the potential of having Armour 3 DayZ, which like I said, could be cool, or it could never happen, it depends on when a standalone comes out, but yeah. Thanks a lot for watching, don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and all good stuff, and I shall see you guys next time.